What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be testing the MacBook Pro M1 against the MacBook Pro with the Intel processor. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, Sergio here with Search Tech. In this channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and tutorials. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. There's gonna be information down below in the description on everything that I cover in this video. So check that out and let's jump right into the video. All right, so I wanted to run some real life tests to see how fast the Silicon M1 processor really is. So I'm gonna put it to test against my previous MacBook Pro running an Intel i9 processor. However, this laptop was a $3,000 laptop. You can get the Apple MacBook M1 one for as little as a thousand two hundred dollars so with such a huge price difference i wanted to see how fast the m1 processor really is compared to a uh, intel 9 processor which is so much more expensive all right so in this video we're going to be doing speed tests we're going to test the boot time we're going to open up a bunch of different apps we're going to do some video exporting we're going to be transferring data in and out of both laptops to see which one does it faster play some 8k footage on both of them to see which one does everything the fastest without freezing up all right so let's get on to it okay so here we have them here we have the macbook pro running an intel i9 processor and then here we have the 2020 macbook pro running the m1 processor so this one is 15 inch this one is 13 inch but just wanted to lay that out so you know which one is which so first off we're going to start off with a boot test so that we see which one powers on first so let's go ahead with the boot in three two one so they both showed the apple logo about the same time Very close here. And the M1 processor booted up first. Let's give the i9 some time. And there you go. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and open up some apps so that we can test the opening speed on each one. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Safari first. And looks like the M1 processor opened it up first. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up iMovie now. And the Apple M1, open it up first by just a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and open up podcasts up next. So it looks like the M1 processor opened up podcasts faster as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and we're gonna do a video exporting on Final Cut Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro on both of them. So it looks like the Apple M1 opened it up faster as well. So we're gonna go ahead and import a video to edit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a new project. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and import the video. The same video on both laptops, Final Cut Pro. So this video is uh, about 14 minutes long almost. It's a six gigabyte video. So we're gonna go ahead and export on both of these here to see which one exports it faster. We're gonna export it as a 4K file. So we're gonna go to settings, make sure it's under 3840 by 2160. Here we're gonna do H264, H264. And as you can see, that's about 6.1 gigs. Okay, so we're gonna set a timer so that we can track how long each laptop takes. So I'm gonna place the stopwatch right here in the middle. We're gonna hit start and go ahead and save it. Yep, on both of them. And let's see how long each laptop takes. So as you can see, the process is gonna be up here. So let's give it some time. And as you can see, the Intel i9 is almost done. Circle is almost complete, as you can maybe see up here. And the MacBook M1 is halfway done. And there you go, let's lap it. So the MacBook Pro i9 processor finished it at seven minutes and 32 seconds. Let's see when the MacBook Pro M1 finishes. All right, so as you can see, we're almost at the 12 minute mark and the MacBook Pro M1 is almost finished. So let's give it a few more seconds and it should be complete. And there we go, it is now complete. So 12 minutes, 50 seconds for the MacBook Pro M1 and seven minutes, 32 seconds for the MacBook Pro i9. All right, so let's see which one wakes up faster when you wanna use it. So let's go ahead and hit any button on the keyboard and the M1 MacBook 
Pro opens up faster, so it has a faster wait time. All right, so now that we're gonna go ahead and run Geekbench 5 on both of them to compare their Geekbench scores against each other. And, uh, and then that way we'll also be able to tell which one opens up faster. So as you can see, here we have the Intel processor on this one, and here we have the Apple Silicon M1 on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and run the CPU benchmark. All right, so the Apple M1 just finished running Benchmark Geekbench 5, and here are the scores. Single core score, 1715, and multi-core score, 7382. Um, as you can see, the Intel i9 is still here trying to finish up. So as you can see here, the Apple M1 processor, it has eight cores. The frequency is 3.19 gigahertz. This one has eight gigabytes of memory RAM, while the i9 has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So another advantage there for the i9, but with the speed of the uh, MacBook M1, it's still faster and there we go the i9 is done and as you can see it has a single core score of 941 and a multi-core score of 4298 so big difference there and actually this pro i9 has 32 gigabytes of memory ram so a lot more than the 8 gigabytes on the m1 macbook pro the base frequency of the i9 processor is 2.9 gigahertz and it's a processor that runs on six cores so as you can see huge difference in the scores there as we can already tell the m1 processor does live up to its reviews it's a super fast processor probably the fastest processor out like apple claims on all laptops as you can see the score here is almost double that of the i9 on this macbook pro over here okay so next up we're gonna run the cnet benchmark test on both of them so let's go ahead and do that now and as you can see the macbook m1 opened it up faster as well no surprise there okay so here we're gonna run the multi-core test on both of them but so we're gonna go ahead up here and hit start All right, so as we can see here, the MacBook Pro M1 is already finished with the Cinebench test. Here's the score, 7694. Um, it finished it pretty quickly. As you can see, the i9 is still here trying to finish up. So it's taken the i9 a lot longer than the MacBook Pro M1. And as we can see here, the MacBook Pro M1 is uh, about seven on the list here of processors. And it's right under the processor that is used on the iMac Pro, which is a $5,000 iMac. See, okay, so the i9 MacBook Pro just finished and it finished that number nine it has a 5324 multi-core score so about 2000 points less than that of the macbook pro m1 all right so now we're going to transfer data into a sd card we're going to transfer the six gigabyte video on both of them and see which one does it faster we're going to be using this pro accessory from search tech you can also get one there's going to be a link down below in the description so it's pretty simple to use here it's going to have a bunch of ports here a usb type c and lightning ports sd and micro sd and two usb 3 3.0 port. So we're going to insert the micro SD on the micro SD slot right here and we're going to place it in the MacBook. So let's move this one to the side. We're going to do this the i9 first. So you're just going to place it there and click it in. So as soon as you place it in, folder is going to pop up right here with the SD card. All right, so we're going to set the timer right here and let's go ahead and transfer that file in. And start. So it's a 5.42 gigabyte file, and it says it should take about four minutes, now three minutes, so we'll see with the stopwatch. So it looks like it's almost done. All right, so three minutes and 37 seconds for the MacBook Pro i9. Okay, now we're gonna do the MacBook Pro M1, same file, and let's start. So on the MacBook M1, about same thing, it says about three minutes, so we'll see how long it really takes. So the M1 here almost done and finished. So about same speed, three minutes, 37 seconds. So they have a tie on the transfer test. And now for the last test, we're gonna play an 8K video on both of them to see which one plays it better without freezing as much. Both laptops are on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, so we're gonna do this video right here and let's select the setting here to 8K, right here, 8K. So there you go, both laptops playing 8K footage. Neither one of them are freezing up. 
and they both play them extremely smooth so i give it a tie on the 8k footage test so to sum up the conclusion of all the tests the apple m1 processor is a much faster processor than that of the i9 on this 2018 model macbook pro however since this macbook pro does have a graphics card it will save videos when editing or similar projects because of the graphics processor but the m1 processor still wins in speed all right everyone so that was it for this video let me know in the comments down below your opinions on the new Apple MacBook Pro with the M1 processor. Go ahead and give this video a like. And that's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, peace.